Hi, Air Signs, and welcome to Silky Intuitive Tarot. So, what I want to do real quick, since I've been so busy with this deck of cards, I'm going to do a quick clearing. All right. Here we go. All right. Now, first I want to get a general energy from your element, air, and then we'll be running this. I think we'll do it Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Okay, guys, while I'm laying these out, if you want a reading meant just for you, reach out to me through my website or through my email address and I will get back to you right away with some invoicing and we'll get you your own reading focusing around your life, your questions, your concerns and your birth sign information. If you want to look at my library of love and energy videos that's what my Vimeo link is for. You can find that down below too. Okay, now let's take a look at the energy for air signs for this week. This is for the week of June the 4th through about the 11th. And we've got the lovers, number one. This is going to speak to my Libras down the road. It's a, I'm picking up some things already on this. The six of wands on the Page of Cups. So some decisions are being made around a what feels like for a good portion of my air signs. It's a love situation. Um, some of you are getting closer and closer to taking this relationship to the next level. There are plans for you as a couple with this person for whoever this is talking about. I think traveling is very much on the front burner. Uh, you're working on those plans. You may be working on establishing a home together. And someone during this week may be making the final decisions to ask for a commitment here. Now, we have a little bit of a shadow over Libra. I think someone in this situation likes their freedom. And that's where we're going to start first with Libra. Some of you guys are moving a situation, a contract, a negotiation to the next level. It doesn't have to be a love relationship, but it's something where the choice can come with, I use the word repercussions. It's a choice that can have side effects outcomes <clears throat> that are unconventional sometimes. Now, first Libra at 340, we're going to call it. Okay, Libra. So, what is Libra taking to the next level? First, let's give us a shuffle because these have been worked two, uh, four, my Libra signs for this week. It's an energy that will accompany the lovers. I'm going to go uh, the Jack of Clubs. Sex, frankly, uh, for this week, a lot of the decision making around this is really going to be judged by the sexual energy within a situation, the seven of pentacles. Some of you are actually wondering if the amount of sex that you're having in this relationship is really enough. It almost feels like some of you are dealing with a relationship where there may be little to no sex at all. And the four of swords. Okay, some of you are really very much 
leaning towards taking a lover's holiday right now. There's a spark that's missing for someone who falls under a Libra sign, sun, moon, or rising. I cannot tell you which. Maybe moon sign is very much here, but so is the sun. The guidance of the sun here is definitely here. Um, we've got a situation for Libra where I think you're feeling if you just have some moments, some moments of rest, some moments of peace, uh, relaxation, and the opportunity to reevaluate your relationship. Uh, your decision on moving forward with the situation is really going to be based a lot on that. A period of rest, a period of reflection, an examination as to whether or not your situation, whether it speaks to business, I feel with the lovers here, it really is romantically connected for some of you. But it's talking about needing some time alone with this partner so you can really examine closely where they are, where you are, and the possibility of moving it forward. I also see that you could be focusing on a lover's retreat or a trip somewhere that's going to speak loudly to <clears throat> the need for romance in this situation. Good for you, go get that trip. Next, we wanna look at Gemini. Gemini, my friend. Uh, you are seven minutes. So, Gemini, what have we got going on for you guys? Now, let me first go on my rant for every, for every element I've done one of these. Be kind to the bees. We know they bother you, and we know you're afraid of them, but you know what? They're essential to our survival. So let's be kind to the bees. If you have one in your house, please try to show him out the door. Please don't show him the bottom of your foot. Uh, let's be kind to our bee friends. That's all I have to say now. Gemini, six of wands, what's going on this week for you guys? I think it may be your birthday and you're celebrating this week, I think uh, there is something happening in addition to your week. Or your birthday itself is just really making you feel, I think it's making you feel warm. It's making you feel accepted and loved by the people around you. The Five of Hearts or Cups. The Jack of Diamonds. A Generous Soul. And the Six of Cups. Someone deeply connected to your past. I'm going to say it might be someone from long ago who is now reconnecting. Maybe it's someone who's reaching out to you to connect on your birthday, for your birthday. There may be a reunion going on around you. This feels like it might be an earth sign, might be a fire sign, might be a water sign. I don't see air, even though you are an air sign. It's someone different than yourself in suit. But I think for some of you, a situation from the past is looking to reconnect, whether it's a family member or a lover. This is someone where there's been some disconnect, some hurt feelings maybe, a brother, a sister, a father, a mother, a friend, someone from your past is wanting to reconnect this week, a Gemini, I think all in all, the results of that reunion 
may just make you feel like a kid again. So I really do think this is a very nice connection for Gemini to be made right now. And now, finally, last but not least, we have Aquarius at 1030. 10 minutes and 30 seconds. All right, here we go. We've got Aquarius, the Page of Cups, center of your energy. Um, I think just a sense of well-being. You may be responsible for delivering good news to someone this week. Uh, yeah, I think you may just be the carrier or the bearer of good news. You may also be sharing a moment of happiness with someone that you love. Again, a good energy. Um, maybe someone who's a Gemini who's having a birthday right now. Um, happiness, though. It feels like someone younger than you, maybe even a, a water sign who has, is bringing, delivering a sense of well-being to you, your grandchildren, your children. It's a, a, a really a very pleasant connection this week. The Seven of Hearts or Cups. The Ten of Hearts or Cups. And the Joker. It's a family connection. Again, it feels like a family connection almost related to this Gemini connection. It almost feels like you too may have a family member surprising you, taking you by surprise. Or Gemini, you may be, have been feeling that this is someone that you almost expect to contact you. It's your birthday. You're not terribly surprised. For Aquarius, the connection feels the same. It feels like it's a family member. And it feels like a family member who has been distanced or as if they've been away for a period of time where maybe their image is even a fog. They've been gone for quite a while. And there is information coming forth, a contact of some kind, a message coming through, maybe coming through another family member or another friend that this person is reaching out to you. It's a event coming up this week for whoever this is. It's an event that's kind of out of your control. Don't be surprised if this person shows up at your door. Um, I almost see that some of you knowing that person is at your door are not going to answer. I think there are bad feelings between you and this person. This is something you're looking to avoid for your own well-being. Let's just put it right out there. Some of you may be contacted, Aquarius, by a family friend or a relative from long gone by. They may even show up at your door. They may have caused confusion or chaos in your life in some way. You need to know that that appearance at your door is out of your control. What is in your control is whether or not, for those of you who this makes sense to, may actually avoid that meeting or that contact for your own good, for your own well-being. And because this person had brought a sense of, I want to say, and it's not here. I, they just, they caused, they caused some emotional trauma 
for you and you're not wanting to bring that energy back in. Henceforth, someone may reach out for a connection, but it is really up to you whether or not you want to make that connection happen or not. And that's what I've got for Aquarius. If that made sense to you and you want more on that, reach out to me, let me know. I'll get back to you and we'll get the invoicing going on that. And again, my Vimeo channel for my growing library of love and energy. And now it's time to take the weekend off and I will see you guys again next week. More work on my Vimeo library and again the weekly readings, and even more surprises. Who knows what I'm going to come up with next. Take care. Air signs, my friends, be well, and peace.